everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to share with you an update on my funded trading account with 5%ers. In my previous video I shared some more information about the forex prop firm Audacity Capital and this was mainly because I'd received a few comments from different subscribers firstly asking about prop firms and then specifically asking about Audacity so I decided to create a video sharing the research that I carried out and some more information about the firm. Now a few comments on that video were asking how I've been getting on with my Fiverr's account and some of them were assuming that I'd actually failed my account because I hadn't given you guys an update. Well, it's because I've been pretty busy the last couple of weeks, as you know, and I've only taken a couple of swing trades, so I haven't really had anything to update you on until now. Well, to answer your questions, the account is still open. Now, before I jump onto the computer and share with you my data and my stats from my broker, firstly, I want to talk a little bit more about the concept of failing. Obviously, if I hit my max drawdown on my account with the 5%ers, as per their risk management rules, I would effectively blow up my account and lose the ability to trade that account in the future. But I don't necessarily regard this as failing. As we all know, trading is about mindset. Personally, I feel like failure can be described as if you stop progressing or if you give up or quit. Even if I lose the account with the 5%ers, if I hit my max drawdown, I still feel like I am progressing and getting closer to my goal of being a profitable trader. Now I know that might sound odd, let me explain. Firstly, I have learned so many valuable lessons with this account that has definitely progressed me along my path as a trader. I found it to be helpful to compare this to when you are taking your driving lessons and taking your driving test. Many people fail their driving test first time. But if they fail their driving test, they don't necessarily decide that they will never drive. They have to decide on two things. Firstly, did they fail because their emotions let them down? Did they let their nerves get the better of them and affect their performance in their driving test, ultimately causing them to fail? If so, they're pretty much ready to take their test again. They just need to work on their emotions and to get under control. Or option number two, did they fail because they made some really silly mistakes and would they benefit from taking some more lessons and developing their driving skills before they decide to retake their test? Translating this back to trading, when you are trading a funded trading account and aiming to pass a challenge or an evaluation period, if you fail and you feel like it is your emotional reactivity that's hindered your performance, then in my opinion, try again, try again, try again. But if you feel like you need more practice, then Take a step back, trade into a normal account for a while, gather some data, build your skills until you're ready to try again in a funded account. Personally, I've already decided that if I hit my max drawdown, then I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to trade my personal account for a while and I'm going to basically play it by ear. I'm going to do my best to continue growing, analyzing my results, reviewing my performance and constantly looking to improve. Ironing out the creases and improving my skills until I feel like I'm ready to give it another shot. So let's jump onto the computer and I'll share with you my current stats with the 5%ers. Okay guys, so I'm in my broker here with the 5%ers and just looking at my balance in the bottom left corner, you can see it's currently at $12,547.02. Now my starting balance, if I just load up my account history, you'll see at the top here, was $13,000. These are all the trades I've taken so far since I started back in February. And I am currently in a loss on my account. I'm going to actually work this out with you guys so that you can see exactly how my performance is doing in percentage terms. So if I'm currently down $452.98, going to just divide that by the 13,000 and let's times that by 100 and you'll see that I am currently down on my account around about 3.5%. Now the max drawdown rate is minus 4% so I'm very close. I risk 0.25% per trade so if I have two losing trades in a row now that will hit my max loss and that's totally okay. I'm fine with that. I'm going to continue on with this account whether it hits the max loss or whether I creep my way back up but run out of time. To be honest, I don't really care at the moment. I have to have an element of carefree 
with this so that I don't get too bogged down with the psychology side of trading so that I can keep my focus on my progress and on the journey which I'm sharing with you guys. On my previous video, you might have caught it, it was a couple of weeks ago when I actually did some trading whilst I was travelling on holiday and I took a swing trade using the daily chart on pound dollar. I'm just going to show you the results of that trade. So I actually got into this trade on this little pullback after this green candle round about roughly here risking 100 pips in order to make 200 pips and after a long couple of weeks it finally hit my take profit on Monday the 10th of May and I think the recent NFP news really helped because it was so bad for a dollar so it gave the pound a lot of strength the push up that it needed to finally hit my target which was great this added a half a percent to my account and so I'm just going to continue on with this account until I blow it up or I run out of time or who knows, I hit the target. We'll see. <laughs> I hope you guys have had a good trading week. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the account below. And I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.